Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to work on the landing page and we are going to apply the filters on the dish menu items which we see on the screen. Okay. So in the last video we already have built something and now we are just going to uh, build small filter which is just a filter based on uh, their price, filter based on their ratings, all sort of stuff. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a simple reducer. Uh, I mean use reducer you can just create a simple state manager where you can dispatch the multiple actions and once that uh, state gets changed based on that state you can actually dispatch the different actions okay uh, user clicks on uh, one tab which is saying order by ratings order by price so you can when you click on it you use use reducer and get the new filtered state and that filtered state you can uh, pass in the use effect and then once that object is getting changed uh, your it, you will be dispatching the action with the newly updated value okay so here you can see what i'm doing is uh, here i have all these buttons right we have like these different categories filter type based on veg non-veg and vegan all these different categories we have right so instead of that we can just name them different and here based on the type so what are the types we have what are the types we support veg non-veg vegan and something so that same types we are going to display here i mean this is just a prototype you might enhance it extend it at very different level because you can have your own types here i'm just type uh adding the types okay let's say we i have a wedge or uh, because food type is wedge let me try with this burger so here wedge non wedge price rating ascending order by uh all these properties so this is what i'm going to do right food type is the filter and then uh, i have the ratings so return food type equal to fast food yes this is the fast food so when you select a burger that means you are looking for fast food and that's good so we are setting the food type here and order by i can do default order by ascending esc okay so similarly oh yeah, i have all these different conditions filter type order by uh, and these are the different types pizza salad and salad will come inside a vegan pizza will again come inside a fast food chicken will go inside a non-veg so i just created these categories just for my comfort so i can finish this easily and then there can be a another filter which we can have for ordering based on the price like ascending and descending order so when you click on to this, this filter by price then we will just uh, do a, something different here we are just going to filter a type equal to price order by ascending and descending based on which button you are clicking on okay so this is just like a simple filter we are ready with and here based on the type because bur burger is a fast food pizza is a fast food salad is a vegan chicken is a non-veg and then you have a price filter this filter is really re i mean you can build it your own you can have a really nice API which supports a filter by order by and the type type food type uh, cuisine type or all these filters you can build your own custom filters and do the same APIs and then show these filters on this landing page okay I'm showing you the food type first and then cuisine type and then like okay timings like lunch breakfast dinner brunch how you want to order so that all things can be possible here we are just passing these filters whatever we are getting from the ui and those filters we are going to supply back to our apis so here uh, we are going to do is a filter type so we are going to add a method so we are filtering based on uh, whatever you are clicking on to this button so here we have handle filter change which is dispatching this type filter okay a handle filter change and we are passing all these things helder handle filter change and there is a first option is all also that is a default that means i don't want to apply any filter i want all the data so that we can consider inside a default case okay so now there can be all and inside all case i can just have because i don't want to apply the filter here i can just order by sending that's it and if we can just see our api is okay rating price and delivery time so we can just use this filter here uh, now uh, we are passing this filter and based on the filter change 
we are dispatching the action so ta -ta -ta. I need to refresh this thing so here let's say all I'm just trying to play with this thing here whatever the redux state we are going to get that we are going to iterating there this we don't need what is this this is something which we can remove so this is the dish data and okay here filter reducer filter dispatch so whenever the filter is getting changed what we are calling you see we are using use effect and store dispatch it's same as dispatch whenever the, whenever the filter object is getting changed we are passing this but here in this url you also need to pass this parameter filters filters is nothing but a string so we can concat that in the url after the api v1 dishes okay so this is set foods this button we don't need so this is like a simple search we can just get this uh, get the rid of this so this is all that means uh, okay all these parameters are correct now we can just apply the filter so here i can see the api is going food type and then dishes order by so at least the api call is big you're getting triggered when i click on to this uh, the we are dispatching the different different actions it's just a matter of how we are applying passing these filters so this food type and fast food food type veg this is vegan this is non-veg so i was not passing the food type directly that's why it was not showing anything so we can have the vegan type here i can just try to see if it is coming now it is showing all by default and then uh, i can start clicking on to this and you can see the apis chicken there is nothing okay when i click on pizza there is nothing burgers okay there is something so that means our filter really works now we just need to have a data for all these food types currently we don't have in the database so we'll start populating the you can see the food type is a vegan uh food type is all vegan i think uh food type is vegan and this is vegan okay there are few a few dish menu items which are fast food okay so what we will do is we have created some data and we will try to play with this thing okay so if i just try to search vegan then i am getting all these data so here salad food type handle filter change vegan okay so this is correct now we can test this stuff okay let's see our apis and now i can see in the salad also we are getting the response it's all about the availability of data if you have the data like in all these sections then you will start getting the data i need a data uh, for the dish menu items having food type as a fast food uh, as a vegan as a non-veg and uh, what is that these are some of the categories as non-veg and a vegan and fast food so we need to have a data so that i can show but this really works and based on, based on the filter when you click on to this filter we can show those two icons ascending and descending then we can just do filter type or an order by filter type price order by ascending filter type price order by descending that's a simple thing right you can dispatch the same thing so we can extend this example in the next video